Hey everyone, so I'm going to continue in today's video the bathroom project um, that we started last week. We had part one uh, where the roof collapsed on us. If you hadn't seen that yet, go back and watch that first because this is all in the sequence of how we've renovated our bathroom. Um, before I start, I just want to say a massive thank you to Jamie at Hawk and Trowel Plasterers who helped us out massively with our bathroom. He not only did he do what we needed him to do in the sense of he plastered over where the hole was, he plastered the entirety of the roof, made it blend in with the wall, not well, not the entirety of the roof, that entire strip of the roof, of the ceiling, um, blended it in with the wall, made it so smooth and it was like touching glass, it was just incredible. And then he also helped us out by... Um, You'll see in this there were some issues with another wall uh, that we weren't aware of until we uncovered it and he even quickly just plastered over that just to make it an easier surface for us to add some cement board onto and we just can't thank him enough. He he really helped us out. Um, so here are some photos of different bodies of work that he's done um, and what I'm going to do is below link his Facebook and Instagram so that if anybody needs any plastering done, uh, please look at his work. He's just incredible. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where we've got to. Okay, so um, Ash started moving all the tiles from around the bath and found that underneath the bath they'd just thrown a load of rubbish and um, if you look underneath them, you can see there was literally nothing for the tiles to rest on. They just put two strips of wood and then just placed tiles on top. So it was no wonder one had actually started to crack. Um, but we weren't aware that there was no support under there. So if Addie had have stepped on that or stood on it, she could have gone straight through, which is worrying. Um, and then what Ash and my wonderful dad started doing was adding some framework onto the walls so they could yeah, then add yeah. plasterboard, as you can see. Um, that's my dad, a little snippet of my dad there. Um, he's really helped us out with this entire project. Um, we're really grateful to him. Just turn that down there. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got plasterboard on the walls. Everything's ready. Um, Ash smoothed it all out. It looks fabulous and then he needed to start working on around the bath so he started taking off these plastic tiles that they put and obviously things aren't simple with this bathroom with the previous owners they literally just stuck um, little strips of plasterboard down to stick these plastic tiles on and as you can see the wall is completely cracked completely falling apart and yet they just use black silicon to stick these tiles on and this was just a point where we were just like fed up, <laughs> fed up with it all. Because as you can see, all around the side of the bath, it's just a drop. And there's no support for the tiles. They've literally just made, I don't even, there are no words. <laughs> and you can see all the rubbish that they've left under there. So Ash started doing the framework around the tiles so that it, we had support for what we were going to put around the bath. There's his foot making a cameo there. Probably the only video you'll find Ash in because he hates being in them. So what he did was the framework around the bath and then he put cement boards down as a support. And then he started doing the framework again around those walls to add um, cement board onto. Um, obviously, because there's going to be tiles there, it needs to be a watertight set underneath it. Um, and there you can see the work that Jamie did. That's uh, just rough plastering that Jamie did just to make the wall easy for us to put cement board onto. It wasn't supposed to be perfect. But the ceiling, the ceiling is perfect. And touching it, it was so soft. And we were so, so happy. I could have cried. And I said to him, oh, I could cry. And he was like, please do. Um, uh, obviously, as a joke, you don't want to see me cry. But you can see that Ash made the support around there and started adding on the cement board. I also want to do a massive shout out to my friend Lauren, who is Jamie's fiance. Um, she actually took me out for the day um, for a coffee while Jamie was doing the, the plastering. And it was just so needed uh, because we've had a really rough time. So it was really lovely for her to do that for me. 
Uh, back onto this, Ash has waterproofed and sealed all around where he's put the concrete board and put a leveller on the floor. It's this self-leveling stuff that you, you pour on the floor and it makes it smooth. And then he's painted with a waterproof paint and gone round and it's so amazing what just a bit of white um, white paint can do and the floor's completely set for the tiles now and all around the bath is set for the tiles to be on there so that's where we're at now um we've got a little bit further but i'm going to save that for a bit later um to show you the process of adding the tiles and getting it to a stage where we want it um but ash did and my dad, my dad um, came in and, and helped do the framework, put up the plasterboards. He cut all the bits for around the toilet and the, the pipes and things because he's a master of that. He's just incredible. Um, so we're all waterproof now. Ash spent so much time meticulously covering any cracks or anything like that to put the tiles on to ensure that there's no water damage done. Um, and there were so many points in this where Ash was just... I just I throw in the towel, I can't do it anymore. Like I'm so tired of just finding stuff that the previous owners have just messed up. Um, I've got no good words for their cowboy building workmanship um, in all fairness, because they've really messed us up with doing this project. Um, because it was literally just supposed to be a take the tiles off, put new tiles down, paint the walls. And it's really not been that for us. Well, for Ash, Ash has done the bulk of the work. And again, I, I can't rate him enough. Uh, Jamie at Hawk and Trowel Plaster is incredible. And he, he's really helped us out. Um, and um, uh, one thing that I didn't say in the last video <laughs> is um, all of this, I think the kicker is through with all of what's happened, we haven't been able to be covered in insurance on this because this is just seen as general wear and tear. So all the things that have been put upon us because of the previous owners, we've had to pay out of our wedding fund, um, which is so soul destroying. But at the same time, we've been so incredibly, bleh, so incredibly lucky to have incredible people around us who've supported us and sort of we had two days of feeling sorry for ourselves and we were like right okay let's put our big big girl and boy pants on and, and get on with this and um the friends and family that we've had around us that have supported us it's been incredible and again a massive shout out to lauren because she's put up with so much of my moaning about it and she's literally just put just said holly get your head in the game let's Let's cheer up. It could be a damn sight worse. You've still got your house. You know, the, it's going to look incredible when it's done. And and she obviously took me out when um, Jamie was plastering. And it's very rare that you come across people like that in your life. And I'm really grateful for that. Um, and Jamie, again, links down below um, for his, his business. He's incredible. He's self-employed. He does such an incredible job. Um, as you saw from the pictures at the beginning and from what he did with our ceiling and my dad my incredible dad he is going to be in the videos more next week and um, when we start tiling because he is a master of his craft he's so good at that kind of stuff and he's really helped us out and i just can't thank him enough so that's that part of the bathroom renovations it was a short one this time around because i just wanted to sort of show you the waterproofing and the boarding on the walls that, that Ash did and then where we got to a stage ready for some tiling which is very exciting we're like halfway through now so it's it's been a long process this has been we're nearly on three months now of not having a functioning bathroom of all these problems so I just can't wait for it to be done and I am literally going to spend a whole day just sat in the bathroom like not even doing anything just sat in the middle of the floor just appreciating it <laughs> because it's been worked damn hard on <laughs> and all i want to do is just stay in there for a day just close the door and that's it get my tablet out and just sit in this bathroom and just sit, embrace it um because it'll probably be the nicest room in the house once it's done as well so i hope you guys are enjoying these videos sending lots of love
Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and go over and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Or you can stay here and watch our next video. Bye.